20 30 10 20 in case you're wondering what those numbers are those are my mixer brush settings let's get into photoshop let me show you how you can set your mixer brush when you touch your image so you don't have any problem when using it so let's go into photoshop right now hello everyone welcome to my photoshop now the first thing you have to do when you want to use a mixer brush is to select the mixer brush settings and to select your mixer brush just come to your toolbar right here and just click on this um tool right here you have your normal brush and if you just go down you are going to see your mixer brush right here and the shortcut is b so the first point to consider when using your mixer brush is to make sure you are using a soft hand brush if you are using a hard brush you are not going to get the results you want and to set your mixer brush to soft hand brush all you have to do is click on this brush icon right here so just click on it and click on soft hand brush so once you click on soft hand brush that's the first thing you have to do when using your mixer brush settings and uh, the next thing we have to do make sure this place right here is selected if this place right here is not selected it's just going to paint with the background color we, we have so you can see we have black as a background and that's why it's painting black and uh, if we also have another color at the background so let's just change this color to let's say red and we just paint with this color you can see it's painting red as well so we don't want that so that's why you have to make sure this place right here is checked so that this place right here is going to be on transparent so once this place is on transparent that's the second step so the first step is to change your brush to soft hand brush the second step is to make sure this place right here is checked and i'm just going to undo this and after that for my weight i'll just change my weights to 20 and i'll be using 20 for my weight and it has been working for me and i have no problem with it but if you have other um, numbers which you use for your own mixer brush setting and it has been working for you you are free to use it but uh if you want to use my settings this is the settings i use my weight is set to 20. so it's time to ask you guys to like this video so if this will be helpful to you so far make sure to give this video a thumbs up so that more people can see this video and also learn from this video as well thank you so let's go back into photoshop now that we're back in photoshop for my load i just set my load to 30. and my mix to 10. and you can choose whichever mix number you want to use this mix doesn't really matter but i just like using 10 and it's working for me why for my flow i change my flow to 20. and for this percent right here i'll be using 10 for the longest time but i recently started using zero so i'm going to change it to zero and it has been working for me and for this sample earlier right here let me quickly explain when to check it and when to uncheck it so to do that let me first of all just run my focus separation so i'll come to my touching academy and just run focus separation i'm going to use um 18 for this image if you want to learn how to get the right focus separation blur radius i have a video for that i'll be leaving that video at the end of this video so once i use 18 i'll click on okay and for that sample earlier let me quickly explain it if you are using the touching academy focus separation and you have an empty layer which you want to brush on make sure the sample or layer is checked but if you are working directly on the uh, low frequency make sure that sample or layer is not checked so let me quickly go to photoshop right now and explain what i mean so like i said earlier if you are using this retouching academy focus separation and you have uh, an, an empty layer which is named corrective tune right here and um this sample or layer is not checked and you just uh, let's turn off this high texture and just brush on the image it's not going to work like nothing is going to happen to the image at all because this sample or layer is not checked so even if i turn it on and i still paint it's not going to work that is because we are working on an empty layer so if you're using any focus separation action that has an empty layer make sure the sample or layer is checked before it can work but if you are using a focus separation um action that requires you to brush directly on the low frequency tune what are you going to do i'm going to show you what you're going to do right now so just make sure the sample or layer is not checked when working directly on the low frequency colors and tones because if sample or layer is checked and you're working on the low frequency layer directly it's going to make the image look bad so if i just brush right now you can see it's sampling from all the layers that's why it's making the image look bad so if you're working directly on the um low frequency layer make sure sample or layer is not checked so let me just undo that and show you the result if i don't sample so let's see so right now i did not sample and i'm working directly on the low focus layer and i just use my mixer brush to paint on the image like that let me quickly just um paint and show you the result so you can see the before and after without the sample layer being checked okay let me quickly show you the before and after so this is the before and this is the after you can see this is before and this is the after but if sample layer is checked it's going to make the image look bad as you can see right now 
So that's my miserable settings and that's how you can set your miserable settings as well. And if you want to learn how to get the right focus separation blurry, just make sure to click on this video showing right here or right here. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay creative.